I guess you can say I have a rather eclectic music taste. A refined music taste. I had to differentiate from the norm a lot. I am not going to listen to any of those dude bro jock rock bands like uh, Imagine Dragons. Oh, no, 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 that's not me. I explore the unexplored. I'm a tastemaker, an influencer in the world and realm of music. And because of this, I am the biggest fan of the greatest band of all time, Fishmans. See, let me tell you a little story. In 2011, no one gave a shit about these fish fucks, alright? Until I found their classic album, Long Season, by Fishmans. You see, that's a fantastic album right there. The greatest album of all time, if I do say so myself. <laughs> I cried for 40 hours straight because of this little album right here. I bought a ticket to Japan, flew over there, found Shinji Sato's grave, who by the way is dead, hence why he's in the grave. He's been dead since 99. God rest his soul. I love you, Shinji. And you know what I did? I went to his grave, I dug up his bunny, I gave it a big warm hug and a big warm kiss on the skull and said, thank you, Shinji. Thank you for the music. And I can assure you that God or some angel up there in heaven saw that lovely heavenly act and made them popular. And since then, I have become the number one fish man in the world. I own every single CD in vinyl of every Fishman's album ever done, ever collected, every demo, every bootleg, every single Fishman's album. And I demand a royalty check from not only the other influencers who uh, say that they like Fishman's, but also the band itself, who continue to do things and reissue those albums um, uh, since their initial split. Because without me, no one would care about this band at all. No siree. I am the number one fish fan out there in the world, and if anyone says otherwise, I will get my dad's lawyer and he will sue all of you, alright? 